Hello everyone. Vlog 8. I've not done one for about three weeks now. Um, which means a lot to talk about. Which is good. So we'll start with... We'll start with Newcastle. Had a good time in Newcastle. I had a fight and I won. It was really good. Um, what else happened in Newcastle? Not much happened. I met Eric Bischoff. Um, spent a lot of time with Darren Barker. Darren Barker is a very funny man. I like Darren Barker. He's in my top five current, no, former, former world champion list of people that I like. Maybe top three. I like him a lot. And Chris Lloyd. Uh, they do a program on matchroom internet thing. I like him. Um, didn't really do anything. Didn't really get up to much. Before the Nick Webb fight, I was everywhere. I was up to all sorts of mischief. But the Newcastle one, I tried to be professional. Um, there was three of us in one hotel room. But now I've won another fight. I feel like maybe next time I'll get two hotel rooms. Because me and Ahmad was in bed and Danny Morell, <laughs> Danny Morell was on the floor, bless him. But um, it was a good week end and week. I meant to go on holiday on the morning after the fight. 3am 3, 3 I meant to leave, but I think I'm fighting November 10th on the Bellevue show. We're just looking for an opponent now, an opponent. I keep talking like that because I think it's funny, but it's probably not. But um, we're looking for an opponent now. I've seen a Canadian 16 and out, I want him. So hopefully that will happen. Um, but Newcastle, yeah, I didn't go on holiday. I stayed here. I've been training. I had, I had a week, I had a steady week. Um, but this week I've trained, trained, trained well. I've trained really, I've done weights and fitness stuff and do another week next week on the boxing and I'll be ready to go. And then hopefully Sheffield December 8th, I think. Um, I think this is all out there, so I'm not saying anything I shouldn't say, I don't think. Um, in terms of boxing, that's it. I'm looking forward to the boxing tomorrow. Cheeseman Byfield, I'm intrigued by it. I'm intrigued by Watkins Chamberlain. I'm intrigued by Doyle and Gill. I think it's a really good card. I think I, I, like, I prefer to see them than the non-competitive matchups. Sonny Edwards for Ag tonight, another good fight. I don't know when this will be out. I'm, the man who uploads, I'm not supposed to for three weeks, so... Hopefully he's alive and well and he can do these, because if not, no one's going to see him. Um, but I'm really looking forward to other boxing tomorrow. Eddie's got a show on, hasn't he? Jacob's in Deveria, Chen Kyo. Um, I don't care about that fight, because I don't, I don't really follow either of them. I think the Jacob story is fantastic, and I think Devrachenko... He's the Ukrainian fella, isn't he? I seen him struggle, I think. He, was it him? May not have been him. Kitrov. No, I've seen Devrachenko. I think Jacob should win that one. But I don't know. I think there's other boxing on as well at some point, and I can't think who it is. But, um That's about it. In terms of boxing. I've got nothing else to go on about. It's been three weeks, though, so what else has been on? Lewis Ritson. Lewis, the Newcastle crowd was unbelievable. Hopefully, Ritson will just come back and and, what, and go back to Newcastle because it was unbelievable. Joe Laws and Boatsy and Foot and Davis Jr. I think it was a really good time up there. Newcastle was fantastic. Um, and I can't think of any other boxing that's been on. So that's it for boxing now. I'm just trying to get to five minutes, but it's fucking dragging like fuck. But, um also, not been doing much really, been eating well. Been at my sister's, she's a tight cunt, and don't really get fed much, so I think I've lost a bit of timber. I think I'm down to probably 18 stone, bang on. Probably, I'll probably weigh under 18 stone in two weeks' time, which is good. Be having porridge and jacket potato salad and tuna. Um, I've realised now it's all about calorie intake. Calories in, calories out determines weight loss. So, if I want 10 chocolate bars, that's fine, but I'm going to have to starve for the rest of the day. But I'm alright with that. That's, that's, I'm willing to do it. So, part two, I'm going to explain what's happened with the catfish scenario today. Catfish scenario, situation. That's part two. So, I'm going to do that now. Right, basically, what's happened today, some bird messaged me. 
She's called um, Wheaty. That's how I know it was Wheaty. Got a message and um, she's, she's been talking to me for four weeks. A fake account on Tinder messaged her. She super liked him. Super liked me, my face at that point. So I was really happy about that. And basically, she's been talking to him. He's got a fake Instagram account made of me as well. Like, he's not using my name or... And he's not making out like he's, he's me. And, he's not making out he's me. He's using my picture. Like, he's been him but using my face. So, he they've been talking for four weeks now every day for hours on the phone, she was saying, which I thought was a bit strange because she don't really know him anyway. I wouldn't talk on the phone to us or anybody. But um, anyway, that's nothing to do with me. And then what happened is... She she was she was getting these signs obviously I've watched catfish and if they're not gonna video if someone don't video call you within like a couple of weeks, it ain't them in the pictures. And if it's too good to be true, usually it is. So I always like people message me like you can spot a catfish a mile off, I think. You know what I mean? You can tell them a mile off. They've got like the real like you look at the uh, the profile picture. You the catfish is always on private. They've got they've got a, a profile picture and you think fucking hell who's that been there it's like fucking hell but then you think they've got three posts and they're followed by 37 people and you're just like any attractive woman's got at least a couple of thousand followers 600 pictures and all the and all the mates on there going oh you look fantastic hon so it's obvious so anyway she this wheaty obviously she's she said it really believable and she seems a really nice girl and intelligent ish so I'm, I'm going to believe her She's my mate now, and and anyway, so she did a Google reverse thing, and it turns out it took her to my Twitter. So at this and point, she realised she's not real messaged him. She's she's followed me on other social media. I spoke to her this morning, and she's and she's explained the situation. I've obviously said it's all right. Um, we've spoken. It's all right now. We like a catfish scenario. Got her on the old video call. Said, look, let's put this to bed. You know, um, and and that was it basically. It was it was a lot more interesting than it sounded. I'm not a great storyteller. Um, I don't tell I don't tell a great story, and it's a lot more interesting than it would seem. If you want to follow my Twitter, which is David the White R One, which you will be following, because otherwise that's the only way you'd be watching this. But it's all on there. It's all it was quite quite good really. Um, because at first I'm thinking he's doing all leg work. He's been talking to him for months, I'll just just go and drop it in. But um apparently don't work like that. So um but yeah, that was a funny story. Other funny things that's happened to me recently. Not much. Not a lot not a lot been going off really. Just been down here. Training. Someone's knocking at the door. Wanna give it another eleven seconds. I like, the, I like the timing to be correct. I have to wait a bit longer. But um, the vlog is back. And it's been good. It's a goodbye.